Full gay, but straight ahead. Okay, I guess we could try to lockpick it. But if I remember correctly from the early access, you can just try to attack. Yes. Everything all right out there? I'm trying to gauge a little bit where I want to go with this character, cause I want him really to fight all the urges, um, but I want to play it out like in a little bit of cruelty, but still staying faithful to the oath, and trying to play out that cruelty mostly in like, like a little bit of bickering and like sassy jokes and like mean jokes and go for kind of that. Um, so I think we'll just take the direct approach. And Kimmelberg ran. Your friends abandoned you. Yeah. I always were a bit soft. But I've got plenty of friends who ain't soft. Come in here and you can meet them. Okay, but he doesn't open the door. Oath of Ancients really only breaks if you side against nature and its defenders attacking certain people won't break it, I think. Really? I also thought that Oath of Ancients would like protect luck. I think Oath of Ancient is also protect life at all costs, so that surprises me. Um, we do now have a rogue. A very fabulous one, so go, Astarion. Lockpick. Yeah, plus seven, so just don't roll a net one. <laughs> okay, Astarion's like, ah, okay, here's the two. <laughs> Minimum effort. But I guess he fulfills the requirements. Off we go. Yeah. Rude. Ooh, come on. Short rest. Yay, they're already waiting for us. Rude. Next time we're just going to kill you. I mean, I try. I try to be nice. So that's progress. Preserve the sanctity of life and the beauty of nature. Mm, at least I would have expected that with that those tenets, you still wouldn't be just attacking random people. Right. Uh, let's do the group height. Best be on my way. And you know, it's just prayers. only dust and silence. I'm trying to stealth here. Normally, the patron god is obvious. Not here. I was just going to look before. The curse of the vampire. Arken close and beware the vampire. Beware its called beauty. Beware its charm. Beware its curse. Above all, beware the pale noble. For the vampire cannot bear to be of the common folk. How doth one protect from the beasts? Walk not in blackest night. For the vampire loves these nights more than any other. If you must walk, do so by the light of our moon and take care. Carry the blessings and marks of your god at all times. But remember, your home is a fortress, if protected well. If you hear a knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger into your home. If it be your friend, look upon them. Do you find them pallid and wan? Do you have any mark upon their neck? you any dirt upon our clothes. Unless their need is great, turn away all but the most trusted. And if the beast finds a way into your home, flee. Leave love and family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again. But they will see you, pale and smiling, calling them into the night. Yeah, does that remind you of some very pale companion? I also can't think of anyone. What do you think of Sorion? Hashtag no spoilers. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Hmm. Again, the Dead same book. Tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Uh, one who's worshipped here. And I mean, for it to be so old, it still looks rather okay, right? Death and Divinity, a godly guide. 
A death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces. A disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. For countless aeons, it was Jargal. The lord of the end of everything presided over mortality with his unblinking stare, until even he grew wary. Young Baal, Bane and Mirko must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death. Yet he used their ambition to free himself. Mirko claimed primacy of a death from Jurgo's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the most violent of death seized by Baal in his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kalimvor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. And quite a few gods died in D&D's history. Like Elistria, for example. But she came back for 5th edition, so... Second Sun Ring and all. Yeah. And I mean, especially... <clears throat> Especially Bar was quite important in the previous two Bulls Gate games. So let's see if he plays a role in this game as well. I'm looking at the oath. Be careful when pushing people off ledges, and for some reason, this breaks the oath, also killing someone non hostile even by accident. Example given an NPC steps into an area of effect spell, such as Moonbeam or Spike Rove, and dies. Oh boy. Yeah, my favorite goddess besides Saloon. Salune. I mean, all the moon deities are kind of cool. I also really like uh, Sahinin Moonbow, which is like the elven moon goddess. Which is really interesting, by the way. Like, in most languages, which have like gendered nouns, the moon is female. And also in D&D, all three moon goddesses I can think about, Salune, Elistrai, uh, Sehanin Moonbow, they're all female. In German, is actually der Mond. So it's Male. Kind of weird, right? That was your daily language trivia. <laughs> do, do, do. Let's steal their supply packs. Nom nom nom. Do, do, do. do you have like a favorite deity, Alistair? And which one is your favorite deity, Juniper? Or for everyone who's watching and wants to comment. And why, of course. Do you think I can take the milk can and still drink it? Or do you think it's just like... It smells a bit sour. I don't think we can eat it. There's a fame portrait. Here, right? That is so nice. Dust 2 is such a great game. If anyone's watching who didn't play Divinity Origin 2, go play it. It's the best to play it yourself if you want to watch it. You can also find like two Let's Plays of the game on my channel. But in all honesty, I mean, I would love if you watch it and comment and stuff and we can talk about it. But in all honesty, it's the best to play it yourself. My favorite god for obvious reasons when I play evil, for I am death and I'm not the end. I'm the beginning. Merkel. <laughs> not even a full god. Um... Hmm. I'm thinking about like how to best approach this fight. Saluna, she is the goddess I'd follow if D&D was real life. Aw, nice. You can take it. But what do I do with the portrait? Oh, I mean, I can sell it. Okay. Like, placing-wise, they do have the advantage. So, if you go through by just like bashing through this opening here, you can go through here. So it's really nice. Could have happened by itself. No such uh, thing as coincidences when there's a well timed fireball would be really nice here. But we have six enemies. Oof. Do you have anything like AoE? I think we just have burning hands and Thunder Wave, right? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Uh, uh, Can I attack you without stepping? I could do that. Okay, let's do that. And with all the others, we go here into the corner. 
And then we're going to uh, or up here. Let's go here into the corner. And then we're kind of trying to bait them out of Shadowheart. I'm ready. Okay, Shadowheart. Let's do this. Nice. Hey, they're all surprised. I didn't expect that. I mean, they were literally waiting for us, right? But, um, great. So, if your enemy is surprised, you get a bonus round. Yeah, if you go in here, we will definitely be, like, immediately discovered. Okay. Step by step. So, what we're just trying to do is get kind of close. Hiding successful, hiding successful, hiding successful, hiding failed. Okay. Um, I'm also a little bit scared if I stand like too close together, you know? Okay, we shall. And I'm hoping to go in with Gale here and do like burning hand action. And with Astarion, I think we're just trying to attack this handsome Metropolis fellow. Who looks a lot like a barbarian. So, we go for sneak attack. And we don't have advantage. Ah, we don't have advantage or another ally in close range, so we just do normal attack. Yeah. Everyone's here. Let's go. Oh well. Oh well. And we even have just like one dagger. Oh, hey! Thanks so much for the raid! Hey, George, how are you? How's it going? And thanks so much, everyone, for raiding. How are you? Okay. Why is Gale skipped, I wonder, though? Ah, here we have Gale. <laughs> have you also been playing BG3? Level up. So, and I would say that's the perfect setup, isn't it? Level up. Here we go. Level up. <laughs> Viel Spaß. <laughs> Dankeschön. <laughs> you know German? Just was so mean to us. This is nice. <laughs> Just the actor for Roland. Oh! You really are? That's incredible. Alright. Let's go in here. No, he ain't really. <laughs> Okay, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> got <Level> me <laughs> for a sec. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, as a paladin, melee combat isn't that great, so let's just dash and go in the middle of the fight. I think we can use Gale after those two attacks, so maybe we can still like get most of them with a burning hands or something. <laughs> You're all confusing me. And thanks so much for the photos. Much appreciated. Come on, Gale. Dodge, please. Okay, I think we need to Level. heal our favorite wizard. I've only ever told the truth always. <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe anyone was ever just truthful. Yeah, we can't hear Gale, so let's just hope that Gale is going to survive whatever Mari is going to throw at him. I mean, we could throw a health potion. Let's do that. Here go, Gale. That's looking better. Right. Um. Yeah, I kind of wanna, kind of wanna sneak attack, so we're going to go here and just do a small disengage. Uh, where was it again? Where's the cunning action? Here, disengage. And the lying lesbian who lies lots. <laughs> nice. Not enough, but still nice. All my homies love spreading misinformation. <laughs> what was the wildest lie you ever told? Okay. Oh, that's nice. I really thought we would also hit Lavender, but here we go. Come on. Bam. Level up. Nice. You go, Gale. Uh, 
Uh, Journey through the jungle, we're going to read that later. Uh, why am I even looting in the middle of a fight? Let's go. Yeah, see, he is a barbarian. I think the toplessness kind of gave it away, right? Oh boy. Bye, Gale. Um, should we help Gale or should we smite? I would, I would say we smite, right? Step forward. Who are we? Is that the guy who voices Booyak Piddle? <laughs> yeah, the goblins have so nice voices. I'm wondering if we should go all out and do Searing Smite and Divine Smite. But since we just have like two spell slots, let's go for the Smite directly. Ah, this is going to be a tough fight. Uh, yeah. Don't die on me, Gale. I like while I work, but hope you have a great stream. Thanks so much. And thanks also for the follow. Much appreciated. So, who's your favorite character in the game? Let the endless quarrel about that question begin again. Thank you. I've played the game before, actually, but I uh, wanted to definitely try out the Dark Urge one. Um, of course, many people are really excited about it, so... Yeah, and just right at the start. And so far, it's really intriguing, but oh boy, almost got Gale killed. I'm very glad I didn't. Wow, three damage just with sneak attack. If you're raging, so you're resistant, right? Yeah. Damn barbarians. Uh, I'm really hoping we can do this fight. But, but if everyone dodges, I think it will work out. Oh, gosh. Gale. Oh gosh, Gale died. How did he already die? Why am I playing on Tactician? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Also nice that Gale is the only character who has this necrotic aura around him. Um... He dropped his Gucci man purse. <laughs> and such a complicated one at that. Uh, Wolven Brongo. Your favorite character is Wolven Brongo? That's almost ban worthy. Oh boy. <laughs> um, at least if that was your answer to favorite character. <laughs> so. Um. Now, we need to smite, we need to do damage, so I think with Lavender we're going to smite Hasid, because I don't want him to kill any other characters. I know, I'm looking out so much for my party. Come on, hit! Damn it. At least it doesn't consume your spell slot. Um, well, fuck. We could start playing music in combat, maybe that helps. It was number one Wrangle Wombus fan right here. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on. Shadow Heart. And we put Gale somewhere uh, to the sidelines. Oh, nice. We got an inspiration for that. Can't have me. Not yet. Okay. I kind of wonder if we can still use Gale's purse now. But well, that's the question for after the fight. Hey. So Astarion, come on, finish the guy. God, 65% chance to hit. Come on, hit! Ah, uh, four damage. We take it. Oh, seriously? Seriously? Oh, God. What am I doing here? 
<laughs> yeah, okay, I would say this is the first fight which is actually hard on Tactician. Um, mm -hmm. See if he has lip gloss <laughs> in it you can steal. <laughs> Do you think the lip gloss will help me win this fight? I don't know. I don't have any spell slots left. Uh, come on, Lavender. Just for Astarion to get the um, sneak attack, you know. Um, yeah, I'm just sad that we can't really do that much, can we? Okay. Come on, Astarion. 65%, you can do this. Please, come. Slowly but surely. Oh, I hate you, Mari. Okay. Don't kill Astarion. Yes! Missed! Nice! That was... Okay, I, ta I take everything back. Why did he take damage again? Six damage. Was hit for six... Combat round six was hit for six damage. Why? Mari's near the explosive. I don't know if I can do this with shot alone. <laughs> um, and let's be realistic, in character Shadowheart was just flee, right? Shot the final girl. Yeah. Uh, with no spell slots, spell slots left whatsoever. Not with that attitude. Okay. Um, go Shadowheart. I mean, Sacred Flame on a Bavarian is just... Uh, we could go for Fireballs, but it's Gaze on Intelligence, so... Okay. Ah, uh, 50%. Um, you know what? If we're going to leave the Forgotten Realms like this, we do it with Fire. Come on. Hey, one character down. Um... Fireball! Ah, oh, it would be so lovely to have that. Um, okay. Uh, should we just run away? Uh, come on, Shadowheart. Let's just go here or... S Let's maybe try to get around the corner so we can't be attacked by the... Uh, by the archer. Never back down, never what? <laughs> Root. Wow. Okay. Okay. How many resurrection scrolls do we even have? Uh, okay. Shadowheart has none. Okay. Eleven has one. Astarion has one. I think we can still somehow do this. With lots of luck. Um. You know, I think everything will be decided whether we're going to hit now or not. Come on, burn! Uh, yeah, well, I tried. Shadowheart's just lurking here in the shadows while her companions are getting slaughtered. I mean... Oh, seriously? We have a shot, quite literally, right? But I'm also just, yeah, thanks, Gail, I guess. But I'm also just like really unlucky with the saves, right? Okay. Come on, please hit. Hit, hit, hit. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Hasid, it's now between us. Now it's personal. Uh, potion of healing? I think this is actually going to work. Ugh. I hope he's just going to be finished off by the aura. You're not? Okay. I need healing. <laughs> it worked. That's insane. I never had a fight this close in my whole... in all of the other playthroughs I did. 
Phew. Oh boy. <laughs> Final goal, yes. Yeah, you know, the only issue is we have Gale now there in the way. And we don't have a short rest. I mean, can we just go for a long rest? Long rest and it's just Shadow Heart. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. Um, can I still, like, send things from the inventory? I can't. Uh, also not like this. Ah, like this it works. Okay, Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart is now going to be our master healer. I'm very glad she was with us. And I would say we also unlock Gaze Pouch, but we use the main character for that. So, here, Lavender. Can't control that. Well, fair point game. Tactician can push you sometimes in the early game. I, I somehow think I know what you're meaning. Okay. But I'm really glad it worked out. I think that's quite the accomplishment. At least it feels like this. If you're wondering why I'm struggling, there's a special scene. I mean, you probably know. There's a special scene with Gaze Pouch, so I want Lavender to do this. But I don't think we can do this, actually. Ah, here we go. Come on, Gale. Take you. Death can't have me. Because I don't. I mean, with this necrotic aura, I don't want to run in there and then just lose it. Let's try this way. Okay. So, friends, we're going to lose all our Revivify Scrolls. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. You mean revive just with like a regular scroll? I was also not 100% sure about that, to be honest. But apparently it works. Yeah. I also thought that you needed the special scroll from the pouch, but the more you know, We are also bloodied. Okay. You know what? We loot and then we rest. Hmm, leather gloves. Leather boots. Crap crap. Ooh, javelin. Uh, I think short bow might be nice for a companion. I thought you have to go through the surface capture thing with the pouch. Same! You can see the scrolls from the vendors. Ah, uh, you know my luck was stealing. But yeah, we could try. Okay, first off, we're going to give Astarion a second weapon, cause that was stupid to not have that. Here you go, sword short and dagger. Nice. Journey through the jungle. Let's read that. The sun had just fallen below the horizon when, it f when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single beautiful, terrible song. Ulu Chalong, said Jaw. It's coming. Jaw dropped her pack, oh well, not fitting voice, <laughs> and screwed up the nearest bitter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Ooh. There it was again, above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Joel held a finger to her lips to demand my silence, and in one motion it snatched her. A vine, a tentacle. It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Your scream swelled, then faded as a loot along dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase. The creature left no mark behind. The grasses were trampled, the grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. That seems so random, because I never saw another reference to a loot along. Or whatever. Looking ahead. Um Also, we really got raided from Roland's voice actor. What? That's insane! I really thought it was just a joke. That's so nice, it's such a great character. 
pave my path with corpses. Oh, sad. It would have been fun to tell him that. You did. <laughs> that was so confusing. But wow, that's really an honor. I'm really happy. Thank you. <laughs> and if you're still watching, you did an awesome job. It was really amazing, amazing character. Um, thanks so much for the raid again. Um, Open up. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, you know, maybe I should go for a long rest. I know that I keep pushing it sometimes. But that book we already read. Maybe let's do a long rest here in the beds. The Mortal View. Eyewitness accounts of the Barspawn Crisis. Ah, uh, some insight into the previous games. <laughs> nice. The books sell for good money. Oh, they do. Interesting. The Guild... <clears throat> The gold seal on the inside of the cover belongs to printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. Knew the second that the girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief, always in everyone's business. And that ward of Gorin went right along with her. No surprise the wicked god's blood was running in the veins. Anonymous, Candle Keep. Ah, oh, Saravok and his lord are always the first ones that come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron and Nushkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trait. Never took that man for a son of Baal. Amnion Mercenary, interviewed on his deathbed. The whole thing with the Blighted Iron is from... Is from Baldur's Gate 1, right? Or is the second? I think it's the first. You dare speak that name to me. My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Irenicus. I curse you. Also a vampire. At Clutter Slums. I don't think Irenica from, was from the second game, right? Uh, the five tore Tethria to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more Barspawn showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Uh, then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? And good riddance. He is hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. Saradish Merchant. Retired. I'm not authorized to talk to be talking about any murder with some like you. Take it up the sea tower if you want to argue, but honestly, who cares if a barspawn got it struck to them? Their father's the killing type after all. Flaming Fist Gauntlet, Baldur's Gates. Several hundred more interviews follow, most of them terse. Oh yeah, you're right, Malachan. Quite a quite a couple of gold coins we got. So let's take also the others. Yeah, I mean, we can take those as well. Right, off to bed.